Welcome to Knowledge Builder. Thinking inside the box. Pakistan turns to education TV during COVID-19. Education TV is a remote learning tool during a pandemic. School closures as a result of the pandemic affected more than 30 million children in Pakistan, including approximately 12 million children in Punjab. According to the World Bank, at least 1 million children would drop out of primary and secondary school as a consequence. To ensure the continuity of learning, the country turned to educational technology, edtech tools like TV, radio, and mobile phones. Almost all of Pakistan, 95%, and Punjab, 90%, had access to TV, so this became the most viable option for remote learning for students and for teacher training. Pakistan's Ministry of Federal Education and Professional Training, MAFAPT, and the School Education Department, said, of the province of Punjab, Pakistan, went into emergency education planning mode. In April 2020, Punjab rolled out the Education TV program Talim Gar to support remote learning for its students. This was immediately followed by a rollout of the federal Education TV program Teleschool across Pakistan. As a response, the World Bank produced pragmatic guides called Knowledge Packs to support policymakers in making quick yet informed decisions as they work with education ministries. For example, the Education TV Knowledge Pack includes case studies such as Pakistan's to support with just-in-time pragmatic learnings from successful TV programming across countries, evidence of its effectiveness, steps and costs to start and enhance programming, and how to navigate the decision-making process. This initiative is part of the Global Program for Continuous and Accelerated Learning in Response to COVID-19 supported with funding from the Global Partnership for Education GPE, and implemented with UNESCO and UNICEF. Two World Bank projects have been providing financing, Pandemic Response Effectiveness in Pakistan, PREP, provides funding for Teleschool, and third Punjab Education Sector Project, PESP3 provides funding for Talim Gar. Increasing Student Access and Engagement and the Critical Role of Teachers. Education TV in Pakistan has been made available as on-demand content on program websites, YouTube channels, and mobile apps. Punjab developed animated teacher characters for TV lessons, Miss DNA, Mr. Kawarizmi, and Miss Curie. The biggest challenge was the disengagement of children from academic learning, the biggest question was how will the children learn. We started looking at what existed and what we could start immediately, stated Umbreen Arif, technical advisor to the Pakistan Ministry of Federal Education and Professional Training, who led Teleschool. Public school teachers, subject experts, and timetabling specialists were leveraged to develop TV lessons and scripts for broadcasting aligned to the national and provincial curricula and to curate existing educational content. Teachers also supported mass communication campaigns by appearing on TV network morning shows. Public awareness and support. Communication campaigns were deployed, such as teaser videos, announcements via local mosques, and social media and newspaper advertising, leveraging public figures such as the Prime Minister. Support was provided to beneficiaries before and during programming. Resources such as TV broadcast and rebroadcast schedules and links to lessons can be easily accessed by users in one place. Challenges faced. Coordinating across multiple players has been challenging since institutional planning involved almost 10 different stakeholders within and outside the government. There has been limited student engagement, requiring continuous innovation, especially for areas with historic low educational outcomes. Assessing impact on student learning has also been difficult given the limitations of education TV. Short-term impact. Education TV has been supporting distance education during emergencies, buttressing learning during teacher shortages absenteeism, and serving as a complementary support for teachers and schooling. The Gallup Pakistan Rapid Assessment was conducted in May 2020 to measure the short-term impact of teleschool regarding awareness, viewership, perceived quality, and loyalty. Within two months, 1,200 households with children ranging 5 to 15 years of age in Pakistan were telephonically surveyed. Nearly one in every three Pakistanis surveyed said they had accessed teleschool lessons, with the highest proportion from Punjab, with an estimated weekly viewership of 6 million children. 77% were either satisfied or somewhat satisfied with teleschool lessons, with rural respondents more satisfied than their urban counterparts. 66% of parents surveyed said they would recommend teleschool to other parents. Lessons learned from Pakistan's emergency response and what next? Pakistan leveraged stakeholders, repurposed educational content, and recycled resources, such as TV production expertise, faculty, students, and equipment. 
Moffup leveraged private educational partners who offered their educational material for free and worked with media regulatory authority and TV providers to broadcast content at subsidized or no cost. Punjab repurposed educational content created by SED for teacher training and adapted it for students. The phased approach allowed the federal and provincial initiatives to launch programming for two weeks for specific subjects and grades, for example, Punjab started programming for grades 1 through 8 only. Both initiatives then released more content in subsequent two-week phases and gradually expanded to more grades and subjects. The federal and provincial governments plan to develop blended approaches to expand education to remote areas using TV, radio, and online programming, as well as to translate national and international educational resources to increase the availability of content in local languages. Replicating and scaling up Pakistan's model. Leveraging stakeholders and resources to ensure a swift remote learning response led Talim Gar and Teleschool to have minimal needs for additional financial resources in the short term. This model is relatively easily scalable and replicable by other education ministries, especially in countries where household TV reach is significantly greater than access to connectivity and other devices, or is used to supplement online learning, for example, China. TV lessons are being used across developing countries to support an inadequate supply of qualified secondary school teachers in rural marginalized areas, as well as in areas with teacher absenteeism, for example, Mexico. There were teachers who downloaded the Talim Gar YouTube channel and made it more engaging on their own. They recorded their lessons, complementing the lessons of Talim Gar. I would say this is very positive feedback because it shows innovation. It shows buy-in from locals stated Abdul Mufti, head of research and policy wing of the school education department of the government of Punjab, who led Talim Gar. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video please subscribe and stay connected.